Well, it. that's where these CTIA systems come into their own, isn't it? Yes. Because you're no longer in a position then where you're, you have to compromise them, yeah. are you? Because like traditionally, well, pretty much up until very recently, that's, that would have been the case, wouldn't it? You'd have had to set up your tyre pressures somewhere roughly where it's all right on the road and somewhere yeah. roughly where it's all right in the field. Yeah. Now, if you do have the luxury, which not, you know, people might not have, but if you do have the luxury of central tyre inflation, you can set it up for the road, yep. get it nice and hard, yep. less rolling resistance, all that, and then set it up for the field once you get in the field. Exactly. I mean, like you touched on, James, you've either got to try and get that happy medium where your tyre is not fully blown up for road conditions, so the potential damage to the tyre over longevities mm. is increasing, so it's a snowball effect. Also, when you're in application, you're not or utilising your full footprint yeah. because you're having to, let's call it, put in the happy medium pressure. Yeah. With the benefits of CTIS and especially VF, yeah. if your load versus pressure is within your 40% variance, mm. you could almost set your field pressures in your yard. I was about to say Drive that. down the road. Yeah. And carry on well, with your that's, application. Well, that's a great point because I was going to say, like, with this VF technology, you could, on a lot of instances, probably depending on the distance you're going to be going and the speed that you want to be going at, yeah. but you could get your field pressures Almost. pretty much right yeah. in the yard, could you? If it's within your 40% variance, yes. And if I was to set these up in the yard before I went to the field, to set them up in the yard for field working pressures, yeah. would I be speed limited then? They, they go, these tire, this tyre here is tested to 70k. Yeah. That tyre at the front is tested to 65k. Right. So this here, you could go, depending on your technical data book, and if it's within your 40% variance, mm. you could still use that pressure up to 65k. Yeah. Depending on if you're within those limits. Yeah. So, but there is an app that we designed. It's the Trelleborg Tyre Book. It's, you can look for your loads and pressures and speeds and everything in there. It will give it to you all on a breakdown on the chart.